live and I don't have any opening sound. <laughs> Let's give the the bell ring to well, go then. My Welcome meters are moving. Media. Okay, let me t type into the RLM chat. We are live, and we'll just stall around until they lay, they say, yes, you are. And we if not, I'll live. fix whatever I screwed up. <laughs> we are live. Okay. Went. It's like Frankenstein. Went are live. Welcome to reallibertymedia.com. RLM Radio. X, Y, and a Z. And we're dorking today. We flash somebody. Hello. You know, me with uh, with no no new name thus far. Just plain old Vinny. Ah, plain old Vinny. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's <sighs> not like a plane, like a vein yeah. or direction. The one that moves with the, every gust of wind. Yeah. Or maybe it is. Yeah. Plain old Vinny. He's the guy that wrote the uh, Patriot Act, right? Oh. <sighs> Anyway, where the hell are we, and what are we oh. doing now? <coughs> there, there, there we are. Hey, uh, looking at, at mm. the uh, list of uh, those, what I like how you say that, bots and bodies. Yes, bots and cool. bodies on the real libertymedia.com, yes. <laughs> I wrote that all myself. Ah, Grimner, here's the dorks. So you want to say hi? Hi, no, Barman. Do, yeah, there you go. There's uh, Back Brackets, DC, Asmo, Chalcedony, Circles, Echelon. That's you, Flash Somebody. Graham Z, Abidon C, J Dread, Ponder Gander. That's another one of me. Uh, Miss Kate, uh, Rain, RLM, Luke. She's a sweet, oh, sexy bot right here that comes in. Helps when we need her. Uh, her and bar manner, pretty much the best bots you'll find. Roams, then me. Uh, I roam, then he. Uh, W4 DKV, uh, Tim 4 Roger, over. Phantom Beetle, Kim Trailer, Hola Miguel, Cyborg Noodle, Nicota, and the, our good friend Dorps Cake Z has arrived. Trump and Trumpy and a grommet and a guest of thirteen nine twenty, which may be our very own cowboy tech. Oh, job. Yes. A doctor too. Kozu and a moose girl, and Nelson Dubois. That's a cool name, isn't it? Uh, Poxified, Poxophone, and Pond Sauce, and here's another uh, non chatta of RLM ninety eight three one two. Sock. Beep, beep, okay. beep, beep. The Skittle and the Tech Man and Uno is last. Uno. We thought one came first. What's the first step in the first step? I don't know. That's the question Not I would for today. ponder. Again, no, I'm going to pass on that one. I got a better one for you. Okay. No, not necessarily better. Just more interesting than Uno. As, soon as, I, as soon as I think of it, I'm stalling. <laughs> So Grimner says, uh, Halen O'Vinny, a.k.a. A. <laughs> vanilla Vinny. Vinny Vanilla. Uh, yeah. I say. Well, and, uh, how did you end up at the dork table? Do you do you know the details of that nightmare? Yeah, you uh, kidnapped me. Ah. Are you, are you still I being held heavy? Hostage. But are you Stockholm Syndrome now? <laughs> I am. <laughs> y yes. And, and it's... I, I have to say it's a very good thing. I'm very happy to uh, uh, love my abuser that cares so much for me. It puts the lotion on its skin. It does it whenever it's Okay, done. okay. I'm putting the lotion <laughs> on my skin. It's, but, yeah, I mean, that that's just so common. People are so shitty to each other now. You might as well just... Look at a stranger and just hand them some lotion. <laughs> Start a fucking riot right there. Just hand a total stranger some lotion and they'll go, Silence of the lambs. Ah! <laughs> oh, pass out baskets. <laughs> well, it's just how, how, um, how serious and how physically that human beings have been conditioned to 
interact with words as though words aren't the representation of a physical thing words are the thing <laughs> the the physical thing that's just more fun the whole point is to get somebody so frothy at the fucking mouth that they start drooling and spitting when they talk <laughs> that's hey. That's what they're after, Vinny. The system wants us to behave like that. Right. And we're kind of uh, programmed in our minds. In, uh, it's developed. Uh, w, W4DKV assured uh, this uh, earlier, and it's the five stupidities of the English language. That's anti, uh, right? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, on, on RLM, he's, but on the radio, he can't use anti, so he had to change anti to that new name. But anti is easier to say. Okay, <laughs> just interrupting I, you for that. I had to keep uh, looking up to when I would type that W4DKV, uh, so I programmed it into my mind where I, I can say it without uh, looking at it. <laughs> W4DKV. <laughs> W D forty. It's so confused. W, w, it puts the lotion. That, it puts the W forty on. Well, that came out of that other movie about the secret agent. It was Leslie Nelson. And he played W D forty. Sorry, Vinny. I, I I'm already I, I four twenty. You know I, I don't even think I saw that one. Actually, you you have uh, internet here. You can find it. What is yeah. it called? Uh, yeah, but it's a just look up Leslie Nielsen movies, and then look for the ones where he played a spy. <laughs> he did a few of them, and they I probably were so saw funny. it. Is it back in the eighties or something? Yeah, yeah. So, slapstick, big boobed girls, just yeah. fun and having a having a laugh at uh, the FBI and the CIA and the cops. Yeah, you and, know what? That really is is uh, there's a, a lot of times there's a lot of revealing and. Uh, in the art, art tunication that comes from uh, film and media and so forth. O.J. Simpson in way. was in uh, the movies I'm talking. I can't think of the titles. This is my weak spot. But the actors this time I remember. <coughs> Airplane. Yeah. <laughs> was one of them. Classic. <laughs> right? Yes. I mean, these things were, they were supposed to be jokes and now they're happening. It's not funny anymore. Nah. So, it's gone too what, what do you, uh, I started a game today. Uh, let's play this new game called I Blame the Voter. <laughs> All this shit is because of you people. Couldn't just be quiet. You know, do the right thing. No, let's, let's do this thing for profit. And that's how we got here. There's a long and the short of it. On, uh, for all you political-minded people out there, it's all business. They tell you it's pro uh, politics. It's not. It's a bunch of shit. You're being tooled like tool. Tool. What do you think there, Mr. Opposition to my side of everything? Hmm? Hmm? I think, I think, I think. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, we was talking about that earlier, about the opposition to crickets. And I think we ought to uh, have the frogs. Which words? Word. 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 Ribbit. Word. Words. <laughs> words. Words. Okay. I don't I know. I was frog. drinking tea. Do you have a frog in your tea? No, I have a spoon in my tea, sir. I have evolved. I use my opposing thumbs for things that are fun. I, I like fun. Yeah, I don't stick live animals in the things that I drink anymore. I grew up a little bit. Might have when I was like three, two, three years old, and you're fucking around with shit. And your mom's always take, hey, don't eat that. That's, that's but you're a convent. You know, you're you're learning shit, so you're trying out what you know. Your kids are like dogs; they're just nasty. Till they I learn. I had lobster in the uh, in Maine with mm -hmm. my brother. Okay. Man, once you have a have live Maine lobster in Maine, no, 
can never go to Red Lobster again. Oh, man, but, please. That's <laughs> you can learn that in a book. Come on, Vinny. It, but food isn't a catch-all for everybody either. There's people like me that could, you know, it, it's something. It's not a favorite. It's just something I have to do. Eat. Eat. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not real. I like. Food. Yeah. I like see, th- there you go. But fuck with my jigsaw puzzle and see what happens. <laughs> I know there's 3,000 fucking pieces there, pal, and there better be 3,000 pieces when you leave. <laughs> see, like, I, I would, like, hide five pieces on your <laughs> I don't think so. No. It's a good joke, but if you see, if you'd seen, uh, I actually finished these things, and Cirque wants me to do some further shit with them. And they're really nice. <laughs> but this, the last one I got is a cartoon of a swimming pool. And there's like a, a, just a fantasy going on. People at a table. And they got a cannibal, barbecue, and <laughs> just a submarine. All kinds of goofy things. And it's hard to finish. I've been busy with it for about a month now. Can't finish well, it. I haven't done a puzzle I can't tell you how many. Well, it's probably obviously not something that interests you, but at the yeah. moment, it's something that keeps my brain cells cooking. Because wintertime, yeah, wintertime, I'm not nowhere near where Moose was at as far as cold. It's just still too cold to be out and, and it being pleasant being out. You just got to go through that to get where you're going. I finally dug my coveralls out yesterday. Was it cold? Yeah, I was like, oh, it's it's chilly, yeah. and uh, I said, you know, I have uh, something just for that. Yeah. So I went and got huh. my coveralls out. I had the I bought these down um, Texas at uh, Walls Outlet. I don't know how many years ago. Oh. I, mean, I was reading the chat, and uh, Grimner says he will work on it today. I suppose he's expecting his replacement part. And uh, yeah, he had something kill, uh, something died or committed suicide or whatever. Yeah, that uh, some you know sound that sound card. blaster that uh, you and Cirque sent me a few years ago. That's what uh, happened. Sh- it just like sh- 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 quit. Okay, well, things last. If it lasted you this long, be glad you yeah. had it. Shh. Right, absolutely. But yeah, like this is the electronic world. They do upgrades so that your old shit doesn't work. You got to get new shit. <sighs> yeah, Mister Grimner is backing himself up with yes or wait. I always do. Yep. Fresh from the Creative Labs website. See, there you go. Because these, you know, high tech people know what to do. And it's, if it wasn't for them, I couldn't do any of this at all. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, there would be no hope. Yeah, you could. Uh, the best. The. Well, I don't know. That what's the alternative for, um, what Grimner has here for. Uh, and, and not being taken advantage of by, or so I wish there was more. But anyways, hmm. um, blog talk. Yeah, no, this is uh, uh this is a very special and unique place right here. Yeah, exactly. When you know, even though some of us are kind of loose with our mouth, so to speak, typing in our radio because we have strong opinions about things that other people don't even know exist. Mm, makes us a fringe. We are the, uh, yeah, we're that loose hair on that perfect rug. Are you but a lunatic? Huh? Are you a lunatic? Oh, yeah. Speaking of being a lunatic, this is the month of February on the reallibertymedia.com, and Grimner needs funds, money, cash, currency, fiat crypto credit creative financing if you've got a little extra this month keep grimner in mind he's the guy that's behind all your 
you know, electronic world needs on the real liberty media dot com. <laughs> How is that, Grim? <laughs> and I mean it too. I'm not telling I think everybody ought to dig deep into their wallet and give Grim what they don't need. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Give what you don't need. Boy, that would be insane, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, you know what I mean, Moose. It's it's like we know the site needs money to be operated, so we all do what we can do. But sometimes you gotta, you know, once a year, you get your uh, your dorks on the radio to be out there reminding the rest of the flock that you know the electronic things <coughs> have to be operated. Right, Vincent? That's right. I Taking was stalling. I thought, out of I thought you broadcasting. were smoking. Are you getting ready to smoke? Yeah, man, I've okay. been smoking. <laughs> well, I went on a rant about how uh, things go, and uh, we need money for the reallibertymedia.com. I, I dropped a little uh, thing there, a copy, uh, a link address from uh, Hal Anthony's broadcast uh, last Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, listening this morning and he just really um has he speaks to everything that, mm -hmm. that uh, opposes us and no matter what you call it uh, clear path to uh to avoid the pitfalls that uh, will, will capture you or kill you mm -hmm. um we see that and, and as he said uh, it, if you go throw yourself on the power uh then you're done. Then you have no more to uh, uh, continue into the fight. So you want to avoid that. You want to find yourself inside of a, a federal courtroom. Uh, once you get there, you if you come to that point, you're 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 pretty much lost. Um, you don't want to be in a position where a cop has a gun on you and pulls the trigger. Uh, wow! You're lost. Come on, Vinny. You know what the odds of that happening to me here are. You know what the odds of that happening to me are? Uh, no, I didn't. Wait a minute. How come I'm going to answer you before you answer uh -huh. me? Uh -huh. That's not that's fair. Best, that's the best answer is a question. Isn't I'll it? get, you know, I would get abducted by aliens before I'd ever be shot by a Danish cop. Dirty Mexicans. And I'm including Copenhagen in this. And there's oh, some maybe. shitty things that go on in a big city. We all know that. What are you talking about? Come on now. Mexicans ain't that bad. <sighs> No, 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 I said, yeah. <laughs> I'm not Jose, you bonehead. I'm not whipping out my Mexican card so that you can stamp it for me and I can get my American discount. You know, used to, I bet you if an American had gone down south of the border that uh, and, and happened to come upon a time of need, they'd have been the poorest Mexican family that would have taken them in and fed them beans and tortillas but i think a lot of that has all changed now it, the uh how the whole culture counterculture is uh, affected how we uh, uh view each other and treat each other tv and movies play a big hand in that and i would say the average guy would think i'm just talking stupid because they're just movies. No, that's what you're supposed to think. <laughs> that's the whole point. You think you're being entertained and you're not. You're being told, this is okay. <laughs> that's okay. Now you got people voting for nine-month abortions and shit like this. And the government, right? The government has no business in that at all. Period. Sorry. Fuck off, government. People do what they do and... When you encourage them to do it, then you're not government anymore, are you? What what exactly are you when you dictate what people will and will not do with their personal life? <clears throat> I have. Uh, I I'm asking you, that. Vincent. What do you, do you call it? Yeah. I, I would give me a minute. I gotta scroll to it. I have uh, uh, somebody that's already answered mm -hmm. that. Oh, okay. Uh, Oh man! I thought you would talk for Here a minute, is. and we would do a talk show. I have it. What? Oh. Um, are you ready? Mm. <clears throat> I don't. And, uh, and I'll let you. Uh, uh, I'll let everybody see if they know who this is, and I'm 
pretty sure most people will before I even finish reading it. It goes hey, to say, cakes. sometimes the law defends plunder and participates in it. Thus, the beneficiaries are spared the shame and danger that their acts would otherwise involve. But now, is this legal plunder to be? <clears throat> no, I say, but how is this legal plunder to be identified? Quite simply, see if the law takes from some, some persons with uh, what belongs to them and gives it to other persons to whom it doesn't belong. Uh, see if the law benefits one citizen at the expense of another by doing what uh, the citizen himself cannot do without committing a crime. Then abolish that law without delay. No legal plunder. This is the principle of justice. Peace, order, I'll have order and stability and harmony and logic, says, of course, Bastier. And I got this from a new found friend of Facebook acquaintance of the name of Todd Freeman. Uh, you're still on the fuck book, eh? Okay. Th fuck. Or I'm still against Facebook. Fake. I'll still always be against Facebook. You know why? Uh, Simple why? reason. You want to know why? Huh? why? I'm going to tell you why, whether you want to know or not. So you might as I well see how. Hey, it's why. 420, dude, somewhere <laughs> right now. <laughs> Hit those pipes, people. We are. <laughs> anyway. Ding, 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 ding. I know. Oh, no. That train wreck. It must be Vinny and Flash talking about politics. Hey, how do you feel about POTUS rump anyway? Do you, do you get all excited and wish you could be rubbing his butt for luck? Um, the Donald, the you know, maybe that, washes washes golf balls for him. No. Huh? 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 no, 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 thank you, please. It only makes me sneeze. You don't you don't like have these moments where you're just compelled to wear red. Be proud and build a wall somewhere. <laughs> Let people know that you, you care about them. You're scaring me a little bit. Every freaking election, and the Americans care about you. Because that's when they vote to build the wall to keep you out. <laughs> How asinine is that? <laughs> You're going to identify yourself. <clears throat> As a psychopath in a world full of morons, Oy. we're we're doomed. Look at this shit that's going on. The latest craze is this 5G thing that's probably gonna, ooh, it's gonna make the Rockefellers a lot of money. What about the pink and the purple hair deal? What about that? That is that's that still just a craze or not? Now, nah, come on, that's all bullshit. That's that's just con divide and conquer shit. That's the splinters. But it's all nothing probably more important <laughs> in today's modern world than the hair color. Yeah, but and dyes. But yeah, but that's you know, see, that's how simple-minded they um, they want the public to be. That that's what gets your fucking attention. Hey, look at Venezuela. Well, you'll never touch the fucking Venezuelan soil. But here, occupy your mind with this place far, far away. While the place you're sitting at just is a big shithole. But hey, look over here. <laughs> Where? How many people you think, if you asked them about Venezuela, ask them about the opinion? Mm. So they'd have to have an opinion first, really, to spawn. And then ask them, could you point that out where that is on a map? And oh, yeah, exactly. be able to do it. Yeah, I understand that. Well, not, not only can I problem. point it out on a map, Mr. Vincent, but I recognize the dialogue of the problem from other problems from history. When I was Because they won't play with American petroleum domination. Yeah, and like the, I told you before... The, uh, yeah, and the International Monetary Fund. Yeah, uh, but they're uh, original members of OPEC and, Venezuela. Yeah, so and uh, won't play with the uh, yeah the the Fed uh, led uh, lies of uh, currency. Well, America lost its control over currency, so that illusion is 
kind of, I don't know, what are you going to do with this shit? It's all bullshit anyway, Vinny. It's all not fucking internet. Real. Yeah, for your goddamn entertainment, because you believe it. If you didn't support it, would it still be there? No. But we're not really taught that part. It's a very simple answer to a very complicated problem. Want to well, hear it? Yeah. Everything that we get told is bullshit. There you go. Don't do what the system tells you to do. You'll you'll either enjoy it on your road because you're the one in a million that it doesn't kill, or whatever. Because <laughs> that's about as far as I think it can go in that one. You know, some people have uh, tried to use these other means of uh, exchange uh, and got into the silver trading and. Uh, then along comes uh, IRS and says, uh, hmm. "Guess what? You didn't uh, you didn't follow our rules." <laughs> and you say, "Well, uh, show me the law." And uh, not only there's no response, but they snatch you up and put you in prison. Hey, That's Becky just crowds. swapped in. <laughs> hey, Donna, Donna Van Meter, um, she did a, a did a lot to speak for the for the Browns. They're still there and they'll spend the rest of their lives in prison because the uh, authority captured them up. Well, yeah, but you're picking on a particular situation, Benny. Becky. Yeah, I, tried, I was I, talking about you. I interrupted you with that earlier. Uh oh. Did I, did I lose Benny? Yep, I sure did. I know we. Am, I'm still live, right? I uh, hope everybody can hear me. I'm going to see if I can't reconnect. It's the clock thing is moving. I'm going to shut them down. I'm going to reboot my wire. Now I'm giving you guys a play-by-play. -play. Yeah, Vinny got booted. I see that. So I'm going to reopen my wire and just comment about something until Vincent can get back and school us on the do's and don'ts of living a free man's life. Anyway, we got, uh, call him back. Flash, gotcha, mister. And we're ring a ding a ding Mr. Vincenzo. Right now. It says uh, ringing. And I don't see any motion on my screen, but who knows. <clears throat> anyway, we've got, uh, oh yeah, Grimner wants to tell her about bacon soda. Um, yeah, because sodium bicarbonate, it's the way that you take it and the amount you take it, you can find out through uh, probably the internet. Ha, that was cool. Wouldn't, okay, Perfect. you back, there you are. Yeah, check this out, dude. So, yeah. You probably wasn't hearing what I was saying. No, you got Remember bumped. In chat, uh, when I was talking about uh, the ocean called to me this morning? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and uh, so uh, I was over, hi, Becky. I was over uh, feeling some love over at Becky, and, and uh, um, man, I, I just I closed my eyes and sent you uh, all the the best that I can, and it was uh, um, and I said uh, in chat it uh, a spiritual type of deal, you know, and a physical feeling. Uh, the the clinical psychologists make say yes, that's a part of the emotion thing, but uh, for for me, it is a it's a real uh, a real deal thing you know how uh, uh we connect in the that vibrational frequency the electronic sense, world uh, yeah 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 but in in personal connection big well, love to you becky you know that's why they try to play this down like it's not even a form of reality so that your mind won't accept what you're really getting i mean if i thought like a normal average voting kind of person I don't, I don't think I would make the decisions in life that I've made yeah right you know that so I've thought of things that, been different. I don't that know what you know now yeah no no I don't mean to like I'm, how I mean it is because I was uh, I wasn't like a thief I was just lived outside of the law but 
you know, I didn't rob banks and crap like that. I just took jobs that I could manipulate not to have to pay tax on them or be responsible for myself. And I never signed up for that anyway. So nothing ever came of it. And that's because I didn't beg them to contract with me. Hey, look at me. I want to be rich. Uh, look, do I, Come take 35% of my million. What? Yo, you got only 20%. You give a 20% off. So, well, uh, yeah, but you know what I learned as a grown-up, Vince? Is not only do they take it in taxes and shit, but the taxes um, that are built into the transaction from the beginning devaluate your money so that you need more money mm. to buy shit yeah. that something that should cost 30 40 cents costs five dollars now because they they pay to a, a bank to make their money so it's the worst financial uh, design or uh, agreement ever made they'd have to be the stupidest fucking people to agree to a shit game like this and they hmm. they call themselves the greatest country in the world and they're they're Thanks. in such financial debt they don't even know why they think they know why but the truth is the money's rigged it was started out so we would be where we are now fighting amongst each other like a bunch of animals and it works like dogs on a gut wagon. I'm saying. It's just horrible. And they get us doing it verbally. Okay. And that's how the game works. You know, it starts out with words. And then eventually, if you know each other face to face, somebody gets punched in the face. Ouch. Right. But that's the, that's what it, the game is being led up to. Hey, what's uh, Dorks? What plants he talking about? Uh, Oops, that what plan? Almost clicked a bad button. Uh, Dang, that was close. Oh, that's what he's asking. I would assume Mullum dried and smoked. Mullum. Ah, Mullion. Mo. I read it wrong, Vinny. Uh, it says M U L L I O N. Dried and smoked a tiny bit. It says it uh, it's like it's two puffs, puffs will help clean lungs, and you know, people on the internet, man, they tell you what they did. They don't tell you what to do, That's but they right. say, hey, when it was me, this is what I did. And I went so extreme, I don't, I don't think anybody else would try doing what I did. Yeah, I've told you before, but uh, I eat poison ivy. Mm -hmm. I got poison ivy all my life, mm -hmm. ever bad scars, really? a lot of suffering. And uh, yeah, so many years ago, I... I a, a very small bite, just like a small sliver, like of a you know thumbnail sliver. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh, you put it in bread and gulp it down. But yeah, and, and I can just walk right through it and water in it. Yeah, because your your body will ingest it in a way that it does its magic on it. Mm -hmm. Well, they convinced us. Took, uh, took uh, um, uh, pills from pharmaceuticals for. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, well, my mind slipped. Oh, what kind of you were you were telling me that for you were allergies, taking pills? Yeah, for allergies. Yeah. But now I eat a, a poisonous what's called a poisonous plant, and yeah, for uh, stinging a bull nettle. Uh, it's actually a horse nettle that grows out and has stickers on it. And I eat that plant, and um, no more suffering from uh, getting hives, uh, allergies, or whatever. So what I'm saying, Vinny, is uh, all the information to help you is all the opposite now. The things that help you are bad, and the mm -hmm. things that kill you are legal and good for you and affordable right. at these participating outlets. Go buy a lot of this shit. And telling people that are stuck in that already, that they're stuck in something, doesn't go anywhere. Just wasting your breath. I think it's so cool that Becky showed up. I meant to go over and uh, uh, tell her, hey, uh, we want to say hi to you over at RLM. And uh, so it seems I did anyway. Sent them vibes. I, I love how that works. Really yeah, good. well, she was mentioning she's got uh, the thumbs down and has the cancer. And, and Grim was telling her about the baking soda. 
that's so freaking expensive, you go down and you put, what is it, on like a buck? It's cheap for a, a decent amount of this stuff, right? And if, if you have an alkaline environment in your system, <coughs> uh, the cancer cells can't thrive in it. And that's what the baking soda does. And there's testers <coughs> at, like what, um, CVX, you know those um, drug kind of stores, they sell all that crap. You can right. test Becky for this. Becky knows about all the, uh, she is, uh, she's been a champion in the. Yeah, in the but you know, you come on the RLM and you know we're all going to say, we're going to all hit you with what we know. Right, yeah, she knows about this. Certainly. Good, good. And it's uh, utilized all these. But and, and here she is. Makes some more application. Um, definitely, uh, <clears throat> I uh, I stayed up uh, uh, in Tilly up here, Whit Springs, uh, some years ago, and it was uh, a convalescent. Uh, an, an old man, Harley Davidson, and his wife had uh, a place for people that had cancer in uh, were terminal, and um, uh, and it would be described as what some people call extreme treatment uh, of. Uh, um, Diet with uh, and and all, oh well, colloidal silvers, uh, uh, enemas, coffee enemas, garlic enemas, uh, um, cayenne. The uh, I can't remember the guy's name right now, doctor or something. Anyways, uh, he'll come back to me. Um, that uh, that would really have uh, a shocking and painful, painful experience. So, I mean, sometimes you'd like would wonder if the the cure is worse than the, the, the death in a way, but cure is not a, a good word, I guess, but reversal of uh, the environment as you talked about how the bacon soda does. So they're simple to um, different steps along the way, but uh, definitely um, going to a, a raw, uh, e even a juicing for a while uh, and detoxification of the body. There's different uh, natural materials of uh, like even diatomaceous earth and different clays. Uh, also, plants like uh, uh, mullum and uh, plantain, uh, any of these uh, things that, that uh, while inside the stomach, they have that, that mucus ability uh, and it draws in uh, toxins that uh, are normally will be deposited within the body and stay in there. So, you have to have something to soak it out. And, like I said, just the, like the plantain seeds uh, over a uh, six or eight month period of that right there is a slow detoxification you can do a uh, fast ones like a lemonade diet um, uh, for in it you know you can get rid of stones uh, kidney stones and uh, bladder gallbladder stones and so forth uh, and, and then expressed well uh, doesn't it make uh, sense that if nature made you ill nature can make you not ill well, there's definitely pathways. Okay, but um, wait, wait. A lot of times it's not nature necessarily, no, but okay. the uh, invasion into the environment. Of, All right, uh, and that's how I uh, mean it, Vinny. It's on a physical right. level, and we've all been conned into believing that these modern doctors of medicine and their, and their fucking poisons are the answer. And what they did well, was... You, uh, you know how that happens, though, when... Uh, a person's gone first of all they've four years of uh university after all the I other know. you're gonna stick uh, up for the doctor i'm not talking about no, 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 the no, no. doctors just let me I'll just let me explain something about yeah. how okay. this happens and so they they go through all that they go through uh, you know more years to become a doctor and then when they become a resident uh and they're put through um all those hours and hours and sleep deprivation uh and in the whole time what they've been being taught more is then uh you know about applying these pharmaceuticals and then after all this uh um which is used for mind control uh, some of the techniques that would be considered to uh you know formulate a person how they're going to operate and and that's what you get and then what happens they come along with the enticements of the uh, you know the drug companies and uh the perks and all that and uh, they become them pimps for the uh, pharmaceuticals, right? Mm -hmm. That's how it gets there. I mean, why did? Why is that? Money. How Vinny. they set it up to be money, yeah. That's my whole point. Yeah. The, um, 
the system is all designed around currency and finance and all the things that are wrong about life, but they pitch it to you like it's a good thing. Now, I think the way they got away with pulling this crap off is through, they started out with TV and radio and worked their way up to the internet. Because you can get the truth and the bullshit from the same source, from the same people. Doesn't matter what you want. So, doesn't matter what we do. You, you, there needs, uh, of course, uh, be some uh, medium between uh, uh, how many lemons it takes to buy a Mercedes. So, what is that? A currency, um, some type of uh, trusted, uh, which should be tangible, of course. But there, and then there is also the trust, you know, and and the, then what we have is a violation of trust. You're That's taking the complicated the political road, Vincent. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, because you're no, you're inspiring good. what's right and wrong and good and bad. And I got another answer for all this. Political? I didn't know that. Well, of course it is. Whenever yeah. you get, whenever you does that does that mean I got to run for mayor or something? No, no, no. All I mean is, whenever you create a conflict with words, that's where government is at. That's the reason government exists. Because people disagree about something. And the way that you get us to do this is to fucking lie with every breath you have. And if you do lie, people will live like this because they don't know there's another way. (laughs) And I think that the, the politicians and all these assholes on TV and in these fucking movies, they know they're lying. I don't I don't think that they should be, you know, like Mary will say, well, they believe in this and they believe in that. They have to vow an allegiance to Israel to even hold a public office now. Now, I'm confused. Here, Vincent, do me a favor. You're, are you up on American politics right now? Are, are there not a couple of, okay, are there not a couple of Muslim representatives <clears throat> holding congressional seats right now of the female persuasion i i believe i've seen that okay too. yes all right my now h- here's my problem with all this this is why i think we're being fucked by everybody in the game is you can't you can't run for a, an american seat unless you uh, pledge your allegiance to israel now these yeah, arabs uh, you know, if you want to to be uh, uh, ex- have any expectation of re-election. Okay, well, here's these three women that are holding public office, and they look like Middle Easterners to me. So I might be a racist now, but uh, that's because they occupy a block with a contingency that um, can override that system and put them there. Uh, okay. Well, what purpose do they serve besides window dressing so that people can be pissed off? Well, the idea is, is supposedly to uh, re-present uh, for mm. uh, the people. They're like, talking for uh, you now, are they? No, not at all. I'm saying what it's supposed to be. Does anybody talk for you, Vincent, ever? Um, no. You know what? Hal was talking about uh, that from last Sunday, how... Uh, we all uh, occupy, in a sense, individually. It's not that uh, we come to sign up in any type of group, um, but uh, mere make the, merely make that occupation of the space and, and place when needed physically uh, and, uh, and demonstrate and stand as that. Uh, I think uh, then, of course, the problem with that is, is you get a bunch of people together and Somebody comes along that uh, decides to call for a vote to who's going to be in charge. And uh, then, of course, uh, that's all been manipulated along by the provocateur in there and the secret agent man. Mm. uh, So they can establish and create crime and then uh, come kidnap or kill you. Mm. Uh, It's lots of fun if uh, if, uh, nobody gets any eyes poked out. (laughs) Right. Hey, you know what? I, I was teasing Ansel earlier. I was doing it again. I had a you think, you know, spell. Well, kind you of. Be, you know why? I, I realized there was a, 
a rift in, in history that needed to be addressed. You want to know what that rift in history was? Uh-huh. Well, apparently there is this uh, revolutionary war. Started in Boston, Massachusetts. And for 200 and a few odd years, these people have just been growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. And I swear I saw the day it ended, but I couldn't remember the year it started. It ended the day that the uh, military did a door-by-door -door search of the very fucking property that the whole thing got started on. <laughs> yeah, that, that had to have been a big joke, wasn't it? Nobody, uh, nobody uh, stood their fucking ground. They all kissed ass. And, and all this talk about, oh, I got guns, and I'll no one back down to nobody. And, and then they roll a few tanks, and they got some kids with M16s. The next thing you know, yeah, you can look at my house. It's cool. <sighs> that was wow. awesome. Yeah, you remember I told you that uh, well, the previous sheriff here, uh, Scott Bradley, he had come by one day. He's he looking for a fella. He ended up being drowned, but... Uh, Come up and walked in my my trailer and he's like, and I was napping and I said oh and I recognized his voice I said oh hey Scott I said hold on I ain't got no clothes on I, I said, so nature I boy out. yeah I had a joint laying out right there and what if he'd have seen it I he would have never even mm. said nothing about it yeah but that's just a little different degrees of where uh, we live like where you say where you live and you and you got peace and all that stuff yeah so it's but... not a terrible place everywhere. You know, I was on a rant about America. Huh? I was on a rant about America. I know. The America's and, good, too. Well, not anymore. Nah, you can have it. I'll pass. It's not all one thing. It is not the America. It's, well, it's, uh, America. it is financially. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, America, not the America. Vinny, <laughs> it's all one thing because I'm talking financially, not about you. Not yeah, about the I'm people. It's not... I'm talking about us as a people. There is no us as a people. That's the con game you're getting played in, right, man. Right, right. But there, Please. we are. There is us that is everybody, mm -hmm. and and you know. To, but to say like you say that mm -hmm. there is no us because it's all division. Yeah. Well, what if there there's times where the division is so invisible that it doesn't even bother you? My division is perfect, man. It fits me just perfect. And there's lots of people I pass pa during my day over the time I'm here that they've got no idea I don't speak Danish because I don't speak to them. They're just passing me. So I'm just another face in the crowd. So you know what I would do? <laughs> oh, I would, I would do. I'm married, Vinny. Stop. I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would carry a, a Danish bagel with me everywhere I go and if, if uh, I didn't want nobody I didn't talk Danish I just like to take a bite of the Danish go mm, Danish <laughs> <laughs> they're they most of them either understand or speak English it's they just don't like to so this is Denmark so, this is their home okay, then in that case you need to carry an English muffin with nah, you as well. <laughs> I don't need to do anything all you have to do is treat the people that you encounter nice, and they do the same thing in back. That's what life is. and But we're not taught that. We're taught all this combative shit and pull over and show me your papers and where's your insurance and how big is your dick. Blah, blah, fucking blah. <coughs> brag, brag. I've got, I'm going to go to Woody and buy a fucking um, ranch. I mean, come on. It never ends. People just can't be simple. It's being simple right. is, uh, it's, it you doesn't impress it. anybody when you're simple. You got to be complicated and own a lot of shit and have slaves. Be somebody. Would you be nice <laughs> if you had slaves? If you had slaves, would you be nice to him? Fuck no. If I had slaves, I'd be a prick. That's why, what I mean is, how could you so, do something right, like well, that to another yeah, person? What? Well, what if you uh, uh, had a ranch? You, or no, let's say you were a logger and, mm -hmm. uh, and you had mules and uh, you cut your tree down and your mules and you drag them out, and then you decided to start raising mules and for dragging out logs and selling them. I mean, how? And a lot of people are would and have 
would be mean to their animal, beat them and stuff, to their mm. slave, to their uh, own property. What's but, that got to do with me, you that. vicious dog? I'm you. not you. I'm that's just how, looking at how that, that works. How that's how you think I would be. Ownership wow. of a slave owning. And, 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 you know, what is the system that we live in? Is If you're occupied, then you're a slave, right? But... People don't see the beating they're taking because they're that's not right. told that's what it is. They're told it's something else, so they go along it's, with it. Now, the mule has a, a certain accustomed to the character of the stick, right? Yeah. And yeah. it's manipulated. It knows just by presentation of the carrot or the stick, which, uh, which what he's fixing to get hit with or a bite of. Which would you rather have? Well, wow, that's. Why, why would you even ask me a bonehead question like that? Well, when I ask you, I mean, it's the question I ask is uh, uh, broad based to everybody. You know? Oh, I yeah. see. Well, I thought it was directed at me. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah. But uh, you, then you could then, though, answer in the well, hypothetical. Or perhaps so. Okay. Well, if uh, I was the voting public, I would have to say I much prefer the carrot okay. over the stick. I'm going to answer place. your question for you now. If if I was truly, in fact, indeed a slave owner, now I don't ever see it happening, but if that indeed was the case, how would I treat my slaves? Um. I treat my slaves at least as good as I treat <coughs> me. So that's debatable. It depends. <laughs> you catch me in a bad mood and shit. Crap might happen. So the only way to avoid that is to not own any slaves. Okay. Well, I would I would present maybe for a view that uh, if one were to own slaves, and then. And then this, uh, the one fella happened to own a lot of slaves, and pretty soon him slaves is having kids and along the lines. And mm. people are born to say one day that they say, uh, now hold on here. Um, now you mean to tell me, Grandpa, that um, I'm a slave because you was a slave, and how, how did you become a slave? And uh, I don't like this, have this option of this character, this stick. Mm. And I don't understand this. You're talking for a donkey? Yes. Wow, I didn't think donkeys were that smart. You didn't want Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, That's what I was oh, talking about oh, earlier. Oh, oh. <laughs> is, uh, is how uh, people uh, just assume if they saw a movie about it or a thing that said, hey, this is a documentary, that it's true. No, it's just a documentary in that person's version of what they claim or whatever. And you can't prove that. They didn't <coughs> see what they claim they saw. This is Admiralty Court, people. <laughs> you got screwed. You got screwed beyond screw. It's not even believable. I must sound insane when I tell people this, but um, asset forfeiture charges the thing, not the... Not the person anymore. They don't even need you. <laughs> they take the shit and leave me there with nothing. It's it's beyond. And Trump is all over this. He he thinks asset forfeiture is cool, and he's gonna think it right up to the moment that they do it to him. <laughs> and then asset forfeiture. It's. It's not going to be funny when these dumbass cops end up picking up money that was going to a political uh, <coughs> party or whatever, making a drop, and, and these idiot cops pull them over and take their money and spend it. I wonder how often that happens. Maybe Rob works. <coughs> oh, Rob's boycotting me because of you. Now, I don't blame him, but that's his right. I'm, you know, I'm not going to not do the show because one person's opinion. You know, and I don't blame him for the decision because I think what happened was crazy. <laughs> the whole I, fucking thing. Yeah, I support him. But, uh, yeah, I, I hope he come back along for a, a, another pun or gander. Whoa, I, I like Rob. You know, I I think he's a uh, 
uh, other than uh, personable at, at times, but that's for oh, right. Oh, come to be on, please. Yeah. I, I, hey, I'm I, I'm 100% in favor of uh, snarky or yeah, uh, smart and, ass. And I believe in at, I believe in time. doing what makes you feel best about something. It's not about yeah. me. I'm not trying to get no great ratings doing this. I'm just no. having fun with the way I look at the world and uh, drag a few people along with on me with the you know with the radio thing sometimes. But I don't take all well, this I, as seriously as as I may seem to. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I've been asked to, or uh, been supposed to be as a uh, um, a teacher. It, or, or somebody speaking with a, an authority. Um, but it's what I'm doing is is learning. And this is my experience. And that's what I do is, is just sharing my experience mm. of learning. And I'm not a bit ashamed to uh, um, be given lesson mm. and uh, shown error. Um, and, and that's part of it, that uh, of the great appreciation and gratitude. And, and when you can uh, reverse yourself and go back to uh, which which I'm now, um, you know, wanting to do, <laughs> not one, but am of course. I, I say of course. I'm not course, laughing at you. Of being course, a horse and not a mule. I'm laughing at me. <laughs> I'm did, laughing at me. I did something really bonehead. <laughs> What'd you do? Well, I had a cough coming on, and I I went with the wrong arm trying to hit the mute button and <clears throat> knocked my headphones off and coughed in the microphone anyway. Oh, I didn't. It was it. a nightmare, and I think as I coughed, I was finally catching the mute button. <laughs> it was oh, Mosey heard it. I didn't hear it. <laughs> I did. Uh, I four twenty to uh, one. Yeah, right. I went all crazy. <laughs> Mm. My big crime against humanity is I missed the mute button. <laughs> Don't hurt me. <laughs> oh, jeez. I've assaulted their sense of taste. <laughs> I didn't even pay any attention to it. What are we going to do? <laughs> hey, you, it, we, it could be worse, you know. It could. Yeah, I could, I could start a, um, a thing. To, to do stuff. Hmm? And, yeah. Like a movement. You know. And tell other people to tell other people what to do. And those people would tell other people. And before you know it, the guy down at the store would go, Hey, you know what the guy in the next place told me to tell you? <laughs> I want to do that. You convinced me. <laughs> well, An the, art movement. We'll call it art. It is art, though. But it, it, see, people tell us it's it's bad and all the freedom is bad you're not supposed to be free you're supposed to be a freaking idiot that does what you're fucking told like if it's your own idea it's automatically bad and it's antisocial and and all it's come down to over the years is people that think like we do end up going well do no harm and you know get through <coughs> life and that's the common message and it just drives the status out of his fucking mind can't handle it don't kill each other. Hey, wait a minute. That's what I do for fun. You know, that's the image they want you to see in them is that there's some kind of killer mercenary. They go off to foreign lands and rape kids and shit like that. You know, fuck. The fuck is so exciting. That's sick. And, you know, it's just this, this whole game's been uh, misdirected and lied to. Uh, they lie to us about it. And you know, they misrepresent it. Then it breeds all these monkeys that keep supporting the same fucking dead ideas time after time. And they're even running out of new ways to put them in front of you. They just do reruns. Wait 20 years, the next group ain't going to know we did this 20 years ago. And that's what we got. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this. Remember what I was talking about? Um, or, or I was talking about that. This... Um, idea of self-expression and, and free speech and I say it's redundant um, language has its limitation in text-based communication and speech is uh, more uh, speech is but one form of expression when one act has access to a space taken as in a public square or commons 
such as an IRC chat channel, it's no longer a question of, uh, ah, you know what, and then I got to move this thing over. Uh, it's no longer a question of individual consent when a self-expression of free speech overlies. However, communication can break down sometimes when one cannot see the reactions or inflections of the speaker. What are you feeling and, and what are the motivating factors? The perspective of the individual may include a wide variety of choices, depending on the situation wherein each chooses to respond or not. Acceptance is the individual's choice for functional boundaries. And that's a response and ability mm. and voluntary communication from Daryl Becker. Mm. I'm listening to it in a pacement. Let's see if it works. Well, it's just oh, kind of Aaron. funny how, you know, different places um, just do things their own way is what I'm thinking. You know, y'all raise your pants legs in the chat. Why am I peeing on you again? No, I'm going to I'm going to put a big pop in there. Oh, pop. OK. I uh, tried to make it in it. OK. Hmm. Well, you want me to mute while you do your thing all over there, everybody? No, I'm oh, doing it. Watch. Okay. You're looking? Watch. Here we go. Hey. There it went. Huh? Oh, you're typing See all kinds of crazy. Yeah. You want to read it? I'll mute. I already did. Oh, okay. Well, come on. It's hard to pay attention and read and type and not. Wow. Help, help. Hey, you know, I don't take this too damn seriously, right? What? Just a little bit. You know, just not, just not too, just enough. Well, how far is enough, Vinny? You know, you got a measuring scale for how much is enough, because that's how much I want. You got, I want enough. Well, then what well, do you uh, do? Hmm? Did you see that movie, The Mexican? No. Why really? would I see a movie called The Mexican? That's about as inviting as... The intrusive operation up your butthole film. I mean, come on, Vinny. What's it? Why? Why? With Why? Brad Pitt. Who? Should sure I spell that right? With Brad I don't Pitt. know. Name him. When film is enough did. enough? Uh, yeah. It's clip nine from uh, the Mexicans two years uh, long. Uh, okay. I want to see if it has any. I'm going to hit it before it stops. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a, it was answered there when is enough enough so i just let you in anybody when i say you yeah i mean yeah. Uh, anyone uh, have the ponder gander for himself yeah when too bad enough we enough? don't too bad we don't have any real terrorists in the world to do real terrible things like uh you can order figure them out on the hey i was being controversial here Anyway, I was suggesting something, like maybe spike the cakes for Congress. You leave cakes alone. Ah, we we'll spike the cakes for Congress. Get it? Hmm? Get it? Hmm? Get it? And then all the congressmen and women would ingest this magic formula that made them tell the truth. Huh? 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 Let them eat cake. What do you think of that? I'll bet, I I'll bet you could I feed see. them enough stuff that they could not lie, and then they'd tell us the truth, and they'd be out the freaking door on their ass in like minutes. They would be fleeing. Who said something about that? Was that a George, George Bush? Bush. Well, if the yeah. public knew the truth about us, they'd they'd lynch us. <laughs> and I'm one of the public that claims to have accepted the truth about the Bush family and how they amassed their empire. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty people. Oy, you know, and it wasn't about the Jews like everybody thinks. It was about something way bigger. The Jew crap is just a tool to get you to go along with this whole fucking thing. Because if you don't believe it's real, then you ain't paying for it. And there's not enough opposition to the people that run it to stop it so we're stuck but that doesn't mean you have to be a victim of it and not know that would be a hmm. that would be like, like being it. a zombie I think what do you think Vinny I, I, 
I like juice. Uh, I like orange juice. It's my favorite. <laughs> Remember when we lost, when we lost Moose on that side? <laughs> oh, shit and Shinola. She thought she thought you were setting up her her up for a joke because she's not familiar with the term. Is all, and I know you, and she knows you, and she was not familiar. Now she knows. Yeah, I I had to tell her it's in the sentence that that was it. She thought there was more insulting crap coming. I think she just got finished with um, what's his name, <clears throat> your buddy uh, Gooberzilla. So she was a little, you know, antsy. Wound up. Yeah, well, come on, people. That's what we do to each other. Come on, some people are just better at it than others. Because I can say the same exact thing to the whole fucking room, less one person in the room, and nobody gets a fuck one way or the other. And this one guy, <laughs> I swear, all I got to do is type something about the president. And and it's all, I'm a this and I'm a that. <laughs> we ain't, we need a marching beat for that. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so. Hey, well. <laughs> I'm telling you. Is, <laughs> are you doing a rain dance? Are you cursing? Yes. Are you cursing my offspring? <laughs> no. I'm doing a step to you. But... <laughs> step it up. Step it up. Double time. Lay off. Lay off. Lay off. You're killing me here. Lay off. Lay off. I broke Vinny. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh no, he's he won't but, stop. But I like a video tune. Okay, come on. come on, Vinny. You're killing me. You're All right, now back. back uh, what about show. Yankee Doodle? This oh, is back the to the show. Putting, putting feathers in your hat and calling it macaroni <laughs> is a serious, serious problem that must be addressed. And I, if elected, will bring this to the forefront of my constituency. <laughs> okay. Are you done yet? Oh, man. <laughs> Whatever that was about, that was a nice change of pace. We shifted gears for Vinny's mental breakdown right here on the dork table for your listening entertainment. <laughs> Did I go too far? Uh, you did, always go. Did too I far. gallop my mule that, into I the think, past you? You know that's that's your contribution to the to the society that we call reallibertymedia.com. You're the guy that goes too Sorry, far. Just, just a little, <coughs> I had a little stick in my throat there. Say that again. You're the guy that goes too far in the reallibertymedia.com community because we're all a bunch of card carrying communists. <sighs> Don't you know anything? Really? I commune. This does not make me. <laughs> does not make a communist me be. Me be. I can call you what I want. This is the uh, oh, internet. You're is. That's right. You're I whatever forgot. I say you are, Mister. Didn't you? Within didn't you read combines, the uh, Confines. People yeah, have that opinion, one. though, Vince. They figure if they type it first or they type it last, that that's what people are going to remember. <laughs> so. <laughs> Type fast if you want to last. I, I'm telling you, sometimes it's beyond. I can't believe I got that response for nothing. It was like I can't easier. believe it's not butter. Yeah, I or better. I, can just I mean, better. Yeah. Type in this like, like it's like our. What do you? It's ambiguous. It doesn't really mean anything. There's not even full words in part of it. So if you read it and you weren't You're familiar ambiguous. with it, it would just be jibber jibber. Ain't ambiguous. <laughs> hey, Winter. You got a is... big ass, Mister. I do. Okay. Is it my pants? I don't I... know, but um. Uh, you let me go into public like that? Uh, Moose Girl still got a bitter winter going on in uh, Wisconsinville. That's not People great. gotta be crazy no. up there. Uh, well, no. Winters, really? winters got extremes. Summers have extremes. Come on. Well, it's all relative. Crazy, you, you would end up crazy by spring, I'm thinking. Yeah, and in a thousand years, it'll be where you're living. It goes all extreme, and these idiots think we're doing it. It's called life. 
life does this thing over periods of time, you know, and then the the government's dumb people down and they tell them a bunch of crap and they go, hey, it's because of us. Oh, we got to kill each other. Hey, let me ask you a question. <sighs> okay. Hypothetical. If uh, if something was going on, let's say like they were uh, putting stuff up in the sky and it was causing some uh, effects and then they said, uh, hey, you see what's happening down here? Um, and then they blamed it on the people and the people said, hey, man, I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't doing nothing. And then uh, other people said, no, it's really a climate change and um, all by manipulation that's like, hmm, what's really going on? I'm asking you, what's really going on? What, what's, you want I'm my version? You, buddy, of this straight up. Problem. Nobody else, nobody else listen. Just you. What I think is going on? What's going on? It's in a song, too. Um, to, <laughs> yeah. To uh, get people to comply, they got to think they're getting something. That's what I think's going on at all levels. Everybody's got a fucking price, so they can be a card-carrying member of the good group. Whatever they've been raised to believe the good group is, they're in it. And that's where we're at right now. Instead of, we're all human and everybody's cool, it's, this prick over here is a so-and-so, and and that (coughs) prick over there, well, he's a so-and-so too, and you can't trust these people because their skin is this color, and... Every fucking story but the truth comes our way. And you know how you know? How you know? Do you doubt me? Because I have foolproof ways to explain it in less words than you can imagine. You're Ready not going to wave it around and poke me in the eye or nothing with it, are you? No. Okay. One See, sentence. I'm go. Ready? Yes. Look at the results of government intervention in our life. Ooh, Ta-da. Scary. Very, very scary. Yep. Because uh, people have been convinced that they're the saviors when they're the ones responsible for all the fuck-ups. They get too big and they want too much and they do this crap that they shouldn't do. But nobody's smart enough to understand there's other ways to do it that aren't harmful. So we go along with what we're told like a bunch of dumbasses. And we got oil instead of hemp. There you go. And if that isn't the only obstacle that really needs to be uh, addressed right now. No, they got all these little distractions. The Jews want to take over the Middle East, so they got to have wars everywhere. And You and I had, uh, we done figured out where um, the trying to add up the numbers is cheated by... uh, um, as far as oil versus uh, producing. Oh, yeah, it didn't matter. I came up with an answer to that. It doesn't matter because hemp does not pollute, so the savings is beyond freaking money. And the amount of land that you would need to do this, plus the other natural things there are on Earth to clean us up, they're there. We're just not using them to do that because they're still today creating the waste. That's uh, that's the same thing. The difference in using dead things or live things, and being able, uh, for, well, first of all, when Uh-oh. you're converting it, you want to extract all of it, and in the end, with a with a, a biofuel like hemp, you you know you're what putting out uh, water and, and air out the tailpipe, something like that. Well, look. It... It's not hard to really freaking figure. If you look in the sky and there's crisscrossy fucking things in the sky, there's your problem right there. They don't belong there. They don't belong in the sky in the first fucking place. I don't care what you tell me, how they got there. No. My body, my instinct, my brain, whatever the fuck it is that tells me something's wrong, when I see the sky with crisscross fucking patterns in it, Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Red alert, red alert. Intruders, intruders. <laughs> I watched the. Uh, I years go all ago, dork on that. I watched them all day. Well, several days uh, uh, out on a tractor all day long, mm-hmm. and uh, I watched them. Low altitude, you know, you you're, you're supposed to have a a plane up. Uh, you're about forty thousand feet here, oh. uh, and they've changed these parameters now, all the way from. Uh, 
it could only occur at uh, I think minus 40 at uh, about uh, uh, 40,000 feet that these uh, condensation can occur. And now it's all the way, these condensation trails can occur, that is. Uh, and now that uh, they can actually happen on the ground, you, when you keep saying, well, wait a minute, this isn't added up. You said this, but uh, watching these planes fly back and forth, uh, and I say back and forth, uh, and there may have been more than one, but uh, at other times I, I observed is obviously one fly so far and then come back. And I've actually seen where the plane had turned, stopped and then turned right back around and come back and started puffing his trails again back, back and forth, back and forth, laid out a, uh, a grid back there. And uh, as the day progressed, it, it, they all merged together and then completely overcast. So I got to ask, what if that plane had not been, no matter what perimeters that they tried to define it in, which is a bunch of bull. Anyways, what would happen if he'd not been up there doing that? Um, would there have been no clouds in the sky? So what's happening? Here? Is this not climate change? They're creating well, events that uh, change that the climate, that interfere yeah. with the climate, right? But see, that's not the way it's being delivered or the end result they're looking to get. They want to tax more businesses to change. And the things they want to change are the things we need. They got the whole thing uh, represented backwards to morons that don't know the science. There should be called more offs. Oh, okay, more well, you call them whatever you like, Vinny. I don't give a shit. You well, know, I can, mean, think about it. Are they more take on them home with you? And are they like half on, half off? You can half on and half off them too if you want to. I don't care. I'm not judging you for your personal that. life. I'm just mm -hmm. judging you for the shit you say at the dork table, mister. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, be a dick if you want to. I don't mind. Because <clears throat> no. that's what people do. We have five minutes until our celebratory. Uh, oh. Yeah, but you know what you did? Oh, you what were, I did? You were a meanie. Uh, you were one all dropping. mean and crazy and shit. But did it feel good to, to lose your temper and not... Yeah. Um, and be accepted because you're just insane and it's not oh. your fault. <laughs> you know you know what? Uh, That's uh, When you got a place where you can do that, mm. when you can... Uh, blow off your steam right run around stomp your feet yeah and, but you know that's you a didn't... place like you feel like you're at home at right or right but you didn't family. tell me i was insane or nasty nasty things at me you just said what i you know what i seem to be a part of rubbed you raw that's the way i took it and i went yeah, okay I... I understand that but i don't give a shit <laughs> it's a prick right back Ooh. That's you, yeah it's it's a Form of expression. That's why it? I think that's expression. And we should. Uh, that's how we live and learn. We need to bring back dueling and lower airfares so that we could meet in public and take care of our problems. Would you slap me with a glove? No, not really. Maybe. Not, I can't see the point in it because if I'm usually honest, I, I think about what you say and you're right at some level of it. And uh, I don't know. Whatever I did to bring that out needs to change because, you know, I'm making you behave a certain way by being around you. So if I'm bringing the no, bad not. side I, out I, of No, uh, everybody's responsible for themselves. Let me make my point, yeah. mister, because yeah, this is my side of it, <laughs> not yours. Because, I mean, I can't say that everything that goes wrong is somebody else's fault. That would, that's complete nonsense takes two people to have a disagreement you can't have a disagreement alone what are you going to say i don't want to wear that jacket well, who are you going to tell it to it's your prop you know what I mean? so you need that other person so that you can lash out at somebody and do all that shit but i haven't figured out to this day what encourages that particular Behavior. <clears throat> and they got these con men, they call them psychiatrists and all this medical bullshit. And I don't think that we fit into groups the way they tell us we do or for the reasons they claim. I think it's a lot simpler than all that. 
We make our, our own little groups and build our own little walls, don't we? Well, right, but different people live on different layers of the social lie they don't know is not true. Like, uh, it's like it, the difference between somebody that knows what a straw man is, goes to buy a property, and the difference between somebody that doesn't know what a straw man is, and they go and buy a property. And the difference between the two is the one that knows what a straw man is never claims to own that property. Because they pay property tax on something they own. Well, then if you own it, why are you paying tax? Because you don't fucking own it. That's why. And whoever's wealthy enough to find out all the loopholes that the law has made to make this work the way it works, they're not going to tell you what those things are. And to hide them from you. That's what... Uh, my problem with America is, or Denmark, or Scotland, or Mexico, any fucking place I've ever been, the government was a problem. People, people, just everywhere I go, they're just people. But yeah, the government, yeah. fuck, that, man. That was a great and wonderful experience of uh, the internet. And uh, I, I mean, I've traveled all over uh, America pretty much, not per, well, pretty much, yeah, but not the world. And, uh, younger when i was younger maybe i i'd always thought that i'd like to have uh, travel the world now now it's it's uh, uh not so much now but i was able to do it though vicariously on the internet and go and actually find people in different parts of the world and um develop a, a relationship with them and to see an understanding and um how what what matters worldwide and i i found that common connection and people have different ideas, different religions and ideologies and uh, supposed non-religion that, uh, you know, whether you're environmentalist and extremist and uh, everybody, even when in contrast, uh, a lot of times are, feel like they are making their contribution. And speaking of that, it is now Time 420 somewhere. Long live the, the, the plant. The plant. Make Let's plant the plant. Be freed. There's no free in this plan. Are you insane? There's too much fucking money involved in it. It's your problem. Is your commerce, man. Everybody's all Welcome fucked up on... We're all fucked up on all these ideas that work wonderful on paper. Until you try to add human action into it, it all works perfectly. But the minute you put it into a physical reality... You attract all the con men and the cheats and the thieves, and they, and as it grows, it supports a certain amount of um, deception, misrepresentation, <coughs> bald face fucking lies. <coughs> Think about it, Vinny. The smaller things are, the easier they are to control to uh, <coughs> a level of comfort. <coughs> when when you have <coughs> enough. And you don't require more all the time, and you're satisfied, things work better. When you're striving to get more of somebody else's shit because you don't have enough, there's your problem. Now I'm lighting the essential. 420 plus 2. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm not on a freaking schedule. Audience. I disavow the clock. Fuck your calendar, too. Oh, by the way, I mean, you know, if you read the right books about any topic, whatever the topic is, you get equal amounts of both sides of yes and no, positive and negative, whatever, bad and good, whatever your level of balance is called, you'll find it if you look hard enough to find an answer. You'll find that they, they've got both the bases covered. There's no, no way to tr find a truth that we'll all agree with. That's how much line went into getting us to where we are right now. That is that it can't be untangled, and it's so big you can't move it. So what are we gonna do? Resist where you can. How? How? What do you fucking do and to resist the this void? There is no gap. It's an all-encompassing void, and if it gets a hold of you. You start repeating its chants and doing its rituals and wearing its colors and all that stupid shit that goes along with being part of the right group. <laughs> I 
and and here's here's this little group of individuals you know and i think i think that uh if rob's mad at us and he's mad enough to not listen then that's that's not bad i'm not mad at him for doing anything uh I think keeping his word in protests is kind of cool, because <laughs> I always see his name, you know, I'm used to him being here, and uh, it's not like I want him to not be here, this, no reason <laughs> at all, this is just, uh, I kidnap Vinny for this crap, this is the way I, I do the radio. Take back my goading, Rob. <clears throat> Rob's a good guy, man. You, yeah, you just fuck with him. I know, but he fucks with you. Everybody fucks with each other That's a little bit. It doesn't bother me. I, no, I get a lot, no, no. Uh, lot out of it. I get a kick out of it. He's, he's clever well, and a uh, very observant person. In yeah, uh, but he had a side in your cause, too, and everybody's all kind of angry about all stuff. I didn't want things. no side. I, I That's what it's doing. I stand nah, alone. Fuck this you. Is, this nah. goes... It's not the way I see it. I'll talk about. Uh, you know what? The, mm -hmm. What is as I consider have been uh, yeah okay. having We're saved me off. from from bad harm is uh, staying out of that uh, any joining of anything. I'm um, teasing you, Vinny, but you know it yeah, sure no, seemed like seriously. you were picking up. Come on, I we I talked was. about it Tuesday. Uh, I, yeah, but you're I so. <laughs> I don't care. You know, I think it needs to be done sometimes. Mm. <laughs> Look, yeah. Yeah, like a what do you call it? Like one of those military drills we're practicing yes, for that, when there's that, a real that, enemy. Call it that. <laughs> a pissy, pissy party. What <laughs> I don't know. I, I it's fun. Hey, one time I was in a bar, and this old boy said, "No, I'm not going to tell that." So go ahead. You know what? I think there's a disturbing side to the freedom of speech on the internet. And it's taken me to a level that I shouldn't go to. And that is creating a problem. Because it cheapens words when you can type whatever you want and not, not be responsible for it. You're not saying it to anybody's face and get punched out. You're just typing it on a screen on some anonymous name. Blah, 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 blah. And maybe that uh, the Rob Works is right when he says you put that shit out there, man, and, it, and it's out there. So, yeah, we're doing each other wrong, all of us, equally. You know, we don't know any better because we're, you know, we're doing it. It's not, uh, it's not a blame thing, but we we make a blame thing out of it because we're not capable of um, putting up with so much crap. From It's just a personal thing, I think. And, well, uh, I, I'd like to say that I support it, and I'm not anonymous so you don't have to. Yeah, I know that. But I did that to uh, try to get away from the slave name more than anything else. Yeah, I yeah. understand that. Well, when I realized that, you know, I'm using my own name is, it really isn't all that good for it. You, you might enjoy it. I, Me, I'm thinking, man, that's their game that they played on me. What would I have done? You know, if I had been given a choice, but I've never in my life when it came to decisions uh i don't remember ever having an opt out of the game choice i always had to take that like a right if i wanted to express a right i didn't ask anybody hey you mind if i tell you i think you're a piece of fucking shit and you should be set on fire and put out with gasoline but no i wouldn't say that to anybody but you know what i did have what in my life growing up, I had the right to say that to anybody I fucking pleased, and there was nothing they could do legally about it except complain and get laughed at for complaining because some idiot said something stupid to you. And now, here we are 40 years later, and we're fighting about fucking words on the Internet because we're so worn down from all the fucking beatings over the years. And we don't, we're not um, taught to recognize it as that. But hey. when you, well, let me finish this before you go. Okay. But when you uh, get in conversation, you hear shit like, you know, well, put a, pull up your big boy panties and be a man and all that. And all that shit really encourages the shit behavior that got us to where we were in the first place. And I have a cure for it. 
but it can't get other people to catch on and, and join me in my quest. And I think that if we live in the truth, whatever the fucking truth is, instead of all this other shit we're told, that it can't possibly be how it is now. Yeah. And that's the answer to it. Stop lying to us. What is the truth about all these things that you've been lying about? And that would solve everything, but we don't want solutions. We want problems to solve because we're human, you know, just like they tell us we are. Guys, he's not moving. They don't trade us on the stack exchange for nothing. You know, they got our consent. They even trick you out of that. You don't even find that out until you're too old to give a shit anymore. See, that's what I think is at the age I'm at. What the fuck are they going to take from me? I, I ain't had stolen um, from me at one point in life. I have paid my share of money out cash-wise to do trading and whatnot. And what I understand about the cash, <coughs> that, well, thank you, Vinny, that most other people don't seem to understand is it represents debt. You're not... <laughs> You don't have anything. You've got the promise of that someday this thing will be paid and you're just passing the notes around. <laughs> People think it's real. It's as real as you want it to be because I'll give you an example. I knew some carpenter buddy of mine that was at the, uh, at the bar and I had a whole floor of this building to myself for whatever I wanted to do. So... I had gotten to the part where I needed a staircase to get up to the second floor and, you know, furnish it and whatnot. And one of my buddies did me a trade. If I did this for him, he'd be, build me a staircase if I bought the wood. And all I had to do is just, you buy the lumber you want, and I'll cut you a staircase and install it, make you a deck and the whole thing. You just tell me what you want. But I want you to do this for me. And that's how I do things how I've done things for many many years that's good well it would involve other people people that were looking to have you know work doing certain things and people that were looking to have certain things done I connected them together and then hey thanks instead of all this money crap <laughs> never mind but then, well, that, that does work, and in, in, uh, there's uh, particular um, applications where you put that into effect and your own tomatoes and, you know, trading them for whatever and on up to you know, building the deck and the well, stairs. Um, but everybody's got talents that they don't really look at as gifts. They think they're, they don't seem to think much of what they can do. And when I find talented people, I would find them, you know, give them a reason to trade me for some of the work they could do that I wasn't as good at them doing. Had a whole what, house what, full of windows changed out with that. I, how would you do with, uh, if I was a lemon farmer and uh, mm. I wanted you to build me a deck, and we'd have to figure out how many lemons I could trade you. And right. You well, could, but with that's, lemons, you could, you that's could not the kind of trade. You could take them through the market. And sell them at the uh, market, like in the... right. No, you're talking way opposite. I would, no, I would no, be I, I, specific no, I'm, I'm, about my no, trades. Let's go, oh, man. You, as we're working through how we uh, can apply this that we're talking about, I wouldn't so, deal with a lemon farmer for lemons in the first place. No, That's what I'm telling you. No. Wait, bear with me, okay? Because <laughs> this is the exploring. We're hypothetical, and but actually, oh, okay. let's okay. say it's me and you, really. So okay. I would trade you all these, no matter what number. Uh, how many a truckload or, or whatever and then so you would say well i have no need of, of this many lemons myself <laughs> but i do know where i could go and take sell. them uh and sell them <laughs> like at the market yeah. and then whatever you might uh say i trade in that or you know there's any number of other exchanges and and then there could also be where like uh me and you and um, some other folks over there and those at the market have said um, we have a, 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 a basis of, uh, of trade and trust um, and look it's a lot of problem to be say okay I got to take all these lemons now and I got to carry them over there instead of saying okay well 
they can be here at this point as a, a market distribution point and then uh, through brokerage they'd be distributed that away and then in this cooperative uh, uh, thing there all the problems is uh, solved even with this digital number say in a, a computer base where you didn't have the tangible lemons or, or gold as a or paper as a means of exchange it but any you know those could also be applied as well and uh, without the uh, the force in, in uh, theft and coercion of uh, um, these agencies claiming to be uh, governmental powers like the IRS and uh, everybody else that uh, can uh, put on a tactical uh, unit together, come kill you. It's, right? it's been done. Oh, it works, I guess. Well, so. if you get enough support from the public, these things will continue. And it's got all the fucking support. That's the problem is the game. It's not the players. The game is going to bring this every time. That's what it's supposed to do. Well, exactly what it's doing. And people just, they're not being raised to be smart enough to be taught that this thing is not working for you. You know how many inoculations they want to give a baby? I mean, children they haven't even developed yet. And yeah, right when they're born. And here we are. Every other person's got a sickness of this and a sickness of that and allergies in it. it. They won't admit it's because they've been inoculating the fuck out of everybody. Everybody doesn't need it. They got a a new one injection mm. cure all now. Yeah, so three in one. Oh, yeah. That was just sickening. It gives you all three fucking illnesses at one time. What do you think is going to happen to that little kid? You're making them fucking sick with all three diseases at once instead of one at a time the way it's supposed to go. Oh, so, I was talking about the scissors. Yeah. Oh, crying out loud. Yeah, well, we had childhood diseases <laughs> so when I grew up. I'm sure life has changed since I was a kid. Nothing's the fucking same. It's all different. Come on, Vinny. You don't believe this shit, do you? Me? It's, the only reason it's different is because the system changed it made it worse i often believe many impossible things at once yeah well do you believe that hannibal lecter really <laughs> existed come on yes it's a very good possibility that there existed such a person as he a real hannibal huh you know the, the sickness and depravity of uh, individuals is uh, Right, but the, see, the representation I saw was a clean-cut, middle-aged man that had a profession. And in his spare time, he made food out of the free-range root among us. Wow, and that's scary, scary, scary. Why? If you're not like free-range root. Somebody that, well, uh, could you imagine being a victim of, of some of these uh, sick and twisted, evil people that have... what? Just uh, what about the BT, uh, BT? What was it? The... BTK. <laughs> yeah, that guy. And look at what he did, and he's over there fronting around and is a good Christian in church. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, to be a a victim of somebody like that. See, I feel quite the opposite. I think we're just deceived by this crap called society that does not work worth a fuck. The people that operate it and know it, it gets the results it's supposed to. Don't be surprised. There's people doing sick shit to your neighbor. Just be glad it ain't you, stupid. <laughs> I mean, right, right next door to you, there's somebody chopping up fags and making popsicles, baby. <laughs> you didn't hear anything. You live right next door to the guy. But he did all this weird shit in a one-bedroom apartment in a city. <laughs> you know what? When I lived in a one-bedroom apartment, you know what my neighbors knew? Yeah. Everything I did. <laughs> yeah. It was a one-bedroom yeah. apartment. <laughs> yeah. So the story. <laughs> See, sorry. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I got the giggles again. But. Yeah, well, I guess you could do it, you know. Well, think about how stupid when you... When you consider the things that they bring to the top, like Ted Bundy, uh, he went back to his victims and had sex with the corpse, but he had a wow. girlfriend. So wait wow. a minute. So this guy's like, wow, he must have been like 
had more diseases than Angola. <laughs> it just it doesn't make any sense to me because I don't. Angola? I it's an African country. Look it up. I find see. it on a map, you bonehead. Uh, but it it just defies my reality that that <laughs> things go this way. It's not it's not real to me. Not that you idiots out there in psycho land don't do it. <laughs> it's just, it, it's not as popular as they make it look. You know, there's a lot less weirdos among us than we think. But the real weirdos among us are <laughs> the ones in office. <laughs> and every yeah. time you turn around, this group is investigating that group. But they're all united working for one government. But they don't get along where the fuck. So... Oh, okay, so so I'm sorry, man. <laughs> just, no, it's so no. funny to me that they call this the United States of America, <laughs> and then your leaders are a bunch of clowns, Trump and Pelosi. <laughs> it's like, you, you can't think, make this you know, up. <laughs> I've noticed uh, uh, lately in history here, in the happening chance of uh, seeing pictures of Pelosi. Um, that she looks like she's not like about to die now. And, like before, it looked like she's like, man, she looks like she's either about to die or she's got a demon fixing to come up out of her mouth. And now she's just like, oh, I, I love that clap she gave oh. to uh, Trump. It's like the uh, tie, yeah. And she looks like a like a person now. So that's I not the point I'm trying to make, Vincent. Is not about the person. It's about that's your representation to the world as world leaders. Uh, Donald Trump they, and Nancy Pelosi are your fucking. That's the face. Of that's what I want to know. I think. Uh, I'm think sorry, Vin. Question. And <laughs> should we make them take their makeup off? <laughs> No, good lord. <laughs> the, the evil Listen. wouldn't work. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Vinny. Just wow, because I mean, have you have you ever taken a look at Angela Merkel? <laughs> she looks like Paul McCartney. I thought looks it was. Like Paul McCartney. <laughs> I saw a picture of McCartney one day. And I went, "Wow, that's Angela Merkel with a bass." <laughs> She, she's the German <laughs> chancellor. And that's their leader. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> they got, look, look at what England's got. What's that woman's name, May? <laughs> hey, did the queen die? <laughs> it looks like they dug her up last May. I'm telling you. The politics is just a Brexit. <laughs> Get out of my hey, did, EU. Did, Are you crazy? Did you hear or not? Did the queen die? I mean, <laughs> the queen. She's like 90 years old or 97 or something. It's, it's, Is she it's, still it's, alive? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Define alive. <laughs> Define alive. That's what I'm saying. Take the makeup off. <laughs> you stop it. Okay. Are they really alive? What about the Ginsburg? I mean, how long did they actually like uh, prop her up in a chair? Like, you know, what was that movie about Bernie? Yeah, <laughs> walked her around, <laughs> waved her hand out the wind, make her smile, make her smile. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm okay. Well, I I gotta admit, I I've, I've gone as far to call her a man in a dress. <laughs> Is because still I mean, alive? well, I you know, we know. we we're all going to hit that age eventually where we're just not attractive to anyone anymore. <laughs> People look at you and they don't even <laughs> they get it to get the only way they know if you're male or female is by the clothes you wear. <laughs> yeah. You know that's how old this woman is, and she's still running Earth. <laughs> it's insane, Vinny. The Queen of England. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a sovereign citizen. <laughs> Nobody's told me yet. Is <laughs> <You're> alive? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna make you laugh because hey. you know why. I'm laughing. I'm is, a sovereign is Queen Elizabeth citizen. Alive. Hey, Betty. 
Uh, I'm telling you something important. <laughs> okay. I'm a sovereign Tell me. citizen. Okay. Citizen. Sovereign citizen. Yeah. <laughs> Want to see my sovereign. special decoder ring? <laughs> are, are you a, a, a sober citizen? Oh, man. I'm telling you. The things that people get conned into believing is... Uh, give me a minute. I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay. Hey, Moose Girl. Did you look that up? Is the queen alive? I swear I saw something. And is Ginsburg alive? Does anybody know the answer to that? You ain't got to look it up. Big question. Well, and then suddenly I have nothing to say without uh, thinking of something to say. I'm so lost. So you can't buy representation because the representation is beholden to the system for pressure for payment. You know. What are you going to do? <clears throat> Fight wherever you can, I guess, and try to be free. Food's, uh, food's a good start if, uh, even if you just start out with uh, some containers and maters or taters. <sighs> There's that. Hello, uh, Vincent. Even Grimner took off. Uh, yeah, well, I came back. I, I had a breakdown. <laughs> I got the yeah. case of the yeah. giggles yeah, tonight. Too. <laughs> Did you do? I don't know, man. This whole show is just making me it? laugh and thinking it's about, like but just thinking about Trump and Pelosi or the face of America, it just had me rolling. I, I was on a uh, on tilt, <laughs> kind of still am. Oh wow! I know Moose says I don't go around saying stupid ass oxymoronic things like sovereign citizen. <laughs> it's because it's insane. That's the whole point, Moose. We know that. <laughs> but can you imagine the control that people have over other people? To get them to, to believe these ideas that they believe. And all you got to do is look at the YouTube links and you, you'll kind of figure it out. We've been lied to a little bit here, people. <laughs> and the, the very place that the USA started, it ended. And I saw it live on television. And that's my opinion of it. It's been dead. It's over. You guys are just continuing to pretend it's still something. Because you get um, visitors and, you know, <laughs> politicians building walls and shit. So, you know, all the important situations in your life are always addressed. And things are handled immediately and properly. <laughs> <laughs> well, they inoculate the yes. shit out of your fucking kids. Alive. Mm. I'll tell you the the main reason I don't I don't buy all in all this medical shit was I was two months premature, so my my poor mom and dad, I was in a big rush to get out of that place, and I went boom here I am. And uh, they teased me for years about it. I was so little when I was first born. They had to cut diapers in half because the big ones would cover me all up <laughs> like a blanket. So I was really little. And I didn't get very much bigger. <laughs> but uh, I played with all the... My little brother was huge compared to me. And I whipped his freaking ass till he was a teenager. <laughs> And he learned a few things. <laughs> but, you know, uh, life was, um, I was like that chihuahua. I didn't realize I was five foot tall. <laughs> I thought everybody else was just big. <laughs> didn't, you know, it didn't bother. My dad was bigger than me, my brother. But not my mom. <laughs> I was taller than my mommy. <laughs> Well, all these, all like these the social right things that people think matter that, you know, they use them as insult, Vinny. It's insane. They would call me short and I'd think, really? <laughs> you noticed? Okay. I, I give you an A plus for that. They're a sport. You noticed I'm not tall. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what else you got? You know, it's like, uh, hmm. And then I learned how to get high when I was a teenager. You know what that taught me? What? Stupid people say the stupidest things, and sometimes fun, though, they're right? just so fucking funny <laughs> that when you're when you're stoned, you can really see the comedy genius in their insult. <laughs> but when you're not stoned and you see that insult, you go, "Wow, I wish I was stoned so I have to tolerate this." <laughs> That's it's really probably the A's and B's of it, I think. And uh, the judgment call on the dork table, because I can make all the rules I want to here. You don't have to obey any of them. They're just fucking rules. We'll be political about it. Well, let's vote on it. You want to vote? I don't want you to have a vote. Now what are you going to do? We do this my I way. I cannot vote faster than you. <laughs> I will be the king of the dorks. <laughs> How am I doing? You'd be like, wait a minute, I was fixing <laughs> to push that button. I mean, not push that button first. How'd you do that faster? Hey, can you imagine if Trump tweeted the truth about anything tomorrow? Anything. An apology for some government lie like, well, we're sorry we lied about him, but... We needed the money. <laughs> Never mind. I had all those empty prisons. Didn't really have anything to put in them. Thought, hey, how about people? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the things that are making what? me laugh were so sick. What would you do? Uh, I don't know. Does Denmark run the earth? I don't think so. But it's, a, vote it's, on it. it's a very... It's a very nice little place to be. The people are so probably just start with bag. a committee, get a consensus, and uh, then maybe we, uh, from see what we need to do to go from there to mm. actually uh, have a vote in the yeah, vote. Then of course we're gonna have to decide who can vote. Who can well, see, that. yeah, people, you know, they take all the politics of a country and you know. It applies to you if you're begging the country for something. If you manage to be self-supporting and stay separate from Mother state, they don't give a fuck what you do. They only care when you got your hand out begging them for the, uh, support of some kind. So that that's how that goes. And that's the same in the states. If people go to the states and just do what they're supposed to do and get along and earn their way, not rob gas stations and shit like that for... Uh, source of income then life goes fine for them it's the people that line up and get in groups and you know demand i want this and i want that and the government gives it to them to keep them voting <laughs> that's they don't do that here this is a little different so i just feel like i'm a guest in a nice nice place nicer place than i'm accustomed to but the one thing I really don't like is the EU influence in Scotland and the EU influence in Denmark. Ugh, that I could live without. But, you know, I'm not in a position to do much about what I like or don't like. I either participate or I don't. So if they want to pick up the garbage on a certain day, I better have the thing filled or, you know, not filling it. They'll pick it up and it, you know, where's the trash? <laughs> goes in the can so you got to participate to make things work stupid as that may have seemed it does make a difference well i just gotta tell you i'm proud to be in america where i i can throw my soda can on the ground for if you want to pick yeah. it up yeah. and find his treasure mm. well that i don't think that's any different here there's a certain amount of piggies people that don't mind their trash and there's people that pick it up so there's a balance you know you know in california that uh, it's against the law to go get in the trash can and no uh, pick you're getting... stuff out of it wow and say you're stealing you're stealing you know uh, when when i was in the valley i had a buddy that did that for stuff and you could make an order with him and he'd tell you yeah, if i find it i'll keep it up I'll keep an eye out for that, and if I find it, I'll get it for you. 
And one thing I wanted was a copy of a book called The Hobbit. And the guy found me a copy, a copy of The Hobbit. Jumping through garbage cans. So to hear that's illegal now is... Uh, here they don't have um, pawn shops, so I got spoiled by that, taking advantage of the buyer and seller market like that was... Well, I found a lot of treasures in pawn shops. Yeah. Oh, man, I found this... I didn't know I could play the drums, okay? And I was in a pawn shop in the... I guess, what year was it? It was some time around 2005 or something. Anyway, I was well-grown and all this, but I'd never bothered to sit down and bother with them uh, in any serious way. And I, they had this black Tama set for sale in this pawn shop. <laughs> And I was just drawn to the thing, and I sat down, and I picked up the sticks, start doing shit with them, and next thing I know, I said, how much is this thing? I want to buy it. <laughs> there you go. And, uh, you should I, get some chopsticks, dude. No, no, no. I'm just reminiscing good about... Good chopsticks. But I'm reminiscing about good times I had, you know, in these um, secondhand shops. They called... Uh, uh, pawn shops people would pawn something for a fee and if they didn't buy it back in time the store would sell it for a discount and the discounts were great <laughs> oh, man. i could buy some good stuff in pawn shops that uh if i went retail the quality to get to spend the same money the quality would drop and a, a broken in tamaset <laughs> that was a, that was worth the money i spent on it on at the time i bought it and how much you get for it? When I what when I sold everything, I just told the guys um, a blank number for the whole room. Just no, take how much everything. Did you buy it, the oh, I'm not gonna. It wasn't very expensive. If that's what you mean. Yeah. Oh, you want a number? It was four fifty. Four hundred fifty. Yeah, for a black. It was a pretty set. And it sounded yeah. good. It was a black Tama set. First yeah. set I had. Yeah, like a big thing where you could stomp your foot pedal to and like yeah, bass, uh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, toms, pedals. snare, hi hat. Uh -huh. I I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. Did you just get the brushes and, and you'd be like, no, no, I never bought bought brushes, but I had this really? second, I had the second floor of this building that where I lived. Then the drum set was inside, and if I opened the doors and played, the neighbors never bitched. Nobody ever said anything. Oh, you're practicing again. Hey, sounds okay. And and beyond one house, you couldn't hear it. So, you know, the right. only people that could hear it didn't mind. Can you hear my chops? <laughs> yeah. yeah this was, but, this was, I was reminiscing about the old days. Fire, beyond, you see? Uh, about these drums, these uh, chopsticks. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's cool. You, did, you said you didn't know that... Uh, uh, you know, and when you discovered the drums and how you, wow, I just sat down to them because yeah. yeah. I've tried guitars and bass and I've bought them and I've played stuff and done this and done that, but the drums were different. Just was something I was real comfortable with. Guitars I have to work on; it's not normal. You know, can find a few sounds here and there and reproduce them, but I'm not original and I'm not talented. Just fun. But drums, yeah. <laughs> that was the total, man, that was a whole nother thing. It was like the drawing. I don't know how can I draw. I can't explain to anybody how I do it, but I can do it. You can do it. Yeah, but it's only like that with certain things in life. I'm not good at everything I do, you know. Some things I'm just horrible. I think the worst talent I have in reality is communicating with words. Words... I'm terrible with words. They always get me in trouble because uh, I have a tendency to say what I think at the moment. And then the next day, like with you, you know, I was mad at you on some dumb thing that I said that you said. Da, 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 da. And then two, three days later, I try to think back, what, a, what, what am I mad about? And it wasn't the same. It was like, oh, okay. So, you know, we're constantly rubbing each other raw in real you know, communication life. And sometimes we don't really know we're doing that. We think we're just making a bad joke. or, But no, you're riding the other guy beyond his ability to um, 
function properly. That that's a consequence and part of life. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, but and, we're yeah, we're and growing. We're numb Experience. down to take a pretty good beating, though, Vince. And yeah. I think that living how I've been living has softened me, and I'm more raw, so it makes me more angry. You know, instead of being more comfortable, I'm withdrawing. So, hmm. boy, there was a lot of indoctrination in me, you know, that I have to face or live with it the rest of my life. And I'm not so sure I want to be that angry because it's really harsh, you know, words. Ooh. Words, when you really mean them or you say them to the person, uh, they can really do some serious damage that, you don't think that when you're doing it unless you, you understand it at that level and you're attempting. That's your goal is to make that other person as bleh as you can. And then there's Internet where you just type some stupid thing you don't really even care about. Trump. I don't give a fuck about Trump. He makes me laugh. <laughs> no, but Jerome. if I make a bad comment about well, Trump, I can... We have to step. But step. I... I can get somebody mad because of it, Vince. And I know that. So am I doing it to get the guy mad or am I doing it because I think Trump's a bitch or both? Or what does it matter, you know, in the long run? But here we are with all our uh, results of what we say to people. I think if uh, if we have a uh, marching tune, we're it's up. much better. Hey, but we're open. at two hours, mister. Let's call this a show. Oh, hey, thanks, Mental. I appreciate that. I have no idea. I'm just uh, I'm trying to get along in a world that didn't treat me as good as it could have. Okay, but Mental Cirque says hello and over there from the couch. Hola, and, and hello, Cirque. <laughs> All right, uh, y'all come back and uh, listen live. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna play some trivia about a quarter to eleven uh, all times uh, Ozarkian and, and uh, Grimner's playing blues and at uh, uh, two o'clock at uh, here and the Central Time Zone. Now, Hal Anthony comes from behind the woodshed and uh, giving us a, a look at what it is that uh, seems to have us by the nap of the neck. Monday's uh, is some Graham left. Overs and uh, coming back around for some uh, not so very fresh uh, views on the news from a non mainstream perspective. Uh, Tuesdays were uh, contrasting the occupation in a perfect world with uh, Flash, somebody, and this guy talking. And uh, then Wednesday, Grammy comes along in the rocket chair. Thursday, Flash, somebody's back for uh what a deal 20 percent off <laughs> friday comes to me on uh noon central for uh a ponder gander and just to kind of look at where things is and uh think grammy again at six central and at 10 central is the uh, freakers ball y'all and i think Grimner will have his uh problem with the sound card fixed yeah and moose did a good deal she knew what to do she played some music she got a little tongue twisted it's hard to do a, a solo she she knows that but when you're not even prepared like i've done you yeah. know where something went wrong and you couldn't show up and i had to do it alone about whatever came up it's so, a hard, yeah, a hard thing she to did do. and she and then the end she pl stayed on and played some more music for a while Right and I on. thought, yeah, wait, creative. Make a, you know, make something out of the mistake or the problem instead of making the problem bigger. So that's what I'm here to figure out. Instead of making RLM worse, what are we going to do to make it better? So, you know, Grim can Let's do it. You know, continue to do what he wants to do with it. All right. Right. Let's do it. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thanks, Louis. Hey, and all the, you know, and all the people that donate to the RLM, you know who you are. And without you, 
there ain't no us. So that that's all part of the begging in February is just some people got money and some people don't. The ones that do, they they know what to do with it. And you can write off your taxes, all kinds of crap and this, that, and the other. Donate this, donate that. And they got it here. I'm sure Cirque does it. But me, I don't do banking anymore. No, 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 not like that. I'm too old and broke now. So I just do the radio and leave all the finances to all you rich people. <laughs> you guys are too fun. Huh? Oh, you're too much fun. What What would I do without you? Um. Well, I don't beside know, that, I sir. I can sing like a, um, a bard. <laughs> <laughs> so low. It'd be like, I can't hear nothing. Thanks, so everybody. <laughs> okay, Vinny. Uh, you doing In a Perfect World this week, right? Tuesday night yeah. with me, right? Sure, yeah, you bet you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to do the notes for Grimm? No. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, man. I see you Tuesday, but I see you in the room. But I, I'll talk to you on Tuesday on the In a Perfect World podcast. Roger Wilco, over and out.